Me, Serena Shanti, back again with another video. Currently, I'm in my bonnet because we're about to do my hair. This is another episode of Solo Diaries, which is basically me just living my life as an adult alone with no money. Yeah, so because we're alone and we have no money, we gotta do our own hair. I want twists. I've done them before. Like I said, we're broke, so we gotta do it ourselves. I have a lot of hair. I'm gonna do it. But first, we have to wash my mane. Before we wash my mane, we have to do deep conditioning treatment which means that we are going to do a nice little hot oil treatment and a deep conditioning mask. And we're gonna put that on my head right now. Let's go ahead and unveil what's underneath this bonnet. You know what, it's not that bad. It's really, you know what? When I take this ponytail out, it might be worse. Yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah, it's, it's giving Ursula the way her hair sits up automatically that's that's what my hair is doing i i don't know it's something about afro textured hair that just really likes to stay in the place it's been formed in for the last few hours or something like that so now that our hair is out of the bonnet what just fell off of me y'all i don't even know what just happened okay our hair is out of the bonnet now we are going to start parting it so that we can add my oil and then we are going to add the deep conditioner um, also during this time I like to massage the oils into my hair. I don't know where my scalp massager is. So we're gonna use my hands, my fingers. Also, I'm missing nails. Don't ask how it happened. It just happened. We're gonna fix them. That's later. Okay, let's get to using our oils. Okay guys, so I am currently parted. I went ahead and parted my hair. My hair is very dry right now, so we're going to be using a lot of oils. Also guys, I found my scalp massager. It was in my nail box. Don't ask me how it got there because I really don't remember putting it there, but here it is. This is what it looks like. It's one of the ones, I got it from TJ Maxx. You just massage your scalp with the oils. So first thing I'm gonna do is wet my section because I hate working with dry hair. Like it can't be too dry, it's gotta be at least damp. So we're gonna dampen that section. I don't want it soaked because I'm not styling it. And now that it is dampened, a little wet, we're going to take our first oil. These are all oil mixes besides the Mayel oil, but this is the Dugrow Mega Thick Formula Oil. You could get it at your local Walmart. And I just take a little bit in my hand, warm it up with my palms, and then I take it and I apply it directly to my scalp from my palms and then straight through the rest of the hair. And then I take the nozzle and I go right into my scalp. And then we take our little massager and we massage that in. And this is to, supposed to like stimulate scalp growth or something like that, I don't know. It works for me. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it's supposed to help with hair growth. And I want my hair down to my butt naturally when it's curly. I want it straight when it's curly, which is going to take much longer. Then we're going to take the Serenity Oil by my friend Montana, Alaire Cosmetics. And we're going to do the same thing, which is adding that directly to the scalp. Rub that in. And then taking our scalp massager and massaging it in. And we're going to do that with all of our oils. Whew. It's a workout, y'all. It's a workout. This is an oil mix. I believe this is my oil. I, If I'm not mistaken, let me smell it. Yeah, this is my minty fresh oil. <laughs> it doesn't have a label on it because this was one of like the testers that I used when I was doing promos for my own products. And I would like make ads and videos for my website. This is what I used because I didn't want to waste a label on an oil that wasn't going to be sold, because it's mine, but yeah. And then we're gonna take the Mayel oil, which is also a mint-based oil. And the mint, oh my goodness, it's stuck. The mint really helps with my um, dry scalp, because I have dandruff. When I was parting my hair, it was like snowing, which is really gross, but that's, that's what was happening. That's, that's what happened. 
It was kind of crazy, not gonna lie. I was like, gross. And then we're gonna take my Wild Thoughts Growth Oil and we're just gonna saturate all of the hair with it. So this I'm just gonna pour into my hand. Oh my goodness, okay. So we're just gonna put it in your hand, rub it together. And this one is thicker than the rest of the oils, which is why I like to saturate the whole section with it and not just the scalp. And yeah, that's how I that's how I do my oils. Now I'm gonna do the rest of them and I'll be right back because then we're gonna put the mask in our head. Okay guys, so now that I have finished putting my oils in my hair, we are going to go ahead and put my leave-in mask in. This is the Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. This is what the top looks like. It's just a you know, normal hair mask. It's the only one that really works for my hair. So that's why I started using it. But yeah, I just take this good of an amount, right? And I don't section my hair for this part. I probably should, but I don't. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So for this part, I just take it, rub it together. I just go in. You just kind of like, you know, just just go, go with the flow. Go where it feels right. And that's exactly what I do. Y'all, my forehead is gigantic. I look... <laughs> If it was just, yeah, I would not look good bald. It takes it takes a really beautiful woman to look ba good bald, and I'm not that woman. I I need my hair. I don't even think that it would think. That stutter was horrendous. I don't even think that it would be that I look bad bald. I just think that my confidence level would be on the floor because my hair is like my life. If my hair looks bad, I'm having a bad day. And that's usually how I feel, you know. Like, that's just, that's just me. I'm just quirky like that. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I just add it to my hair. Just like this. My hair looks so pretty. Ooh, I can't wait for it to get long and luscious. Because look, y'all, when I stretch it, it's all the way down here, right? But if it was curly all the way down there... I would be so happy. Now I'm gonna just take a little bit more just for the middle. Just to make sure I get that good. And really just get my ends too. So yeah, that's that. Now that we have put our mask in, we are going to put this on our little shower cap, right? We're gonna put our shower cap on and then we are going to let this sit for about an hour. So I will see you guys when this is done sitting, okay? I'll be back.
I'm back from washing my hair. I did film it. I'm gonna warn y'all now before, actually you'll see this after, but anyways, it did start fogging up. I had the door open and the vents on. I don't know, the humidity was just really humidity. So I ended up turning the water down and scrubbing the camera off. You'll see it when you watch the clips. But yeah, now we're going to start getting my hair ready for blow drying. So I've got some products, some new ones that I got from my job, Ulta. Um, we've got the Way Leave-In Conditioner. I fell in love with this. I had like a sample size and y'all, does wonders for my hair. And then for our blow dry cream, we're going to use the Joyco Youth Lock blow Blowout Cream. We're going to use this. It's supposed to help. I don't know. And then we're going to use this. It's a 10 blow dry miracle H2O shield. So this is supposed to be like a heat protectant. You can also just use it when you're like wearing your hair outside if you don't want the sun to hurt it. But yeah, this my hair is super soft and it's nice and clean. The products I used to clean it was pattern. I used the shampoo and conditioner, the hydrating shampoo and the heavy conditioner because I have thicker hair. So yeah, now we're going to go on with our way leave in. It's new, y'all. Hold on. Okay, there we go. And we're just going to spray that all over my head. And now that that's in, we're just going to, like, rub our hands through our hair, evenly distribute. Then we're going to take my Denman brush and brush my hair just to make sure everything is detangled and evenly distributed through my hair. Y'all, that leave-in conditioner smells so good. I'm really brushing my hair so that I can itch my scalp without scratching it. Because, y'all, my scalp is so itchy. It's just so dry. I don't know what I'm going to do, there. Now we're going to add a little bit of the Mayel oil. You know, the rosemary one, the green one. We're going to add a little bit of that to my hair. Mainly to my scalp because boy oh boy does she need it. She is just so dry. It's honestly crazy. And I'm just going to massage that into my scalp. Okay. Now that that's in, we're going to go in with the blow dry oil. I mean the blow dry cream. I had to open it to make sure there wasn't no like, you know, the little plastic thing that be on top. Because sometimes it be on there. I don't know if it's on this product sometimes. Okay. Yeah, it just squirted. It just kind of squirted out. So we're going to take this, this, put it on this side. And I took this much. I'm putting it on both sides. Then I'm going to take my Denman brush again and just brush it through. That smells good too. These are like the luxury products, like the, I wouldn't say luxury, but like the high end products that I'm using in my hair right now. And I see why people use them. Like they make your hair feel so nice and so soft. Now I'm just spraying in the um, heat protectant, which doesn't smell bad either. It don't smell good, but it smells like heat protectant. Heat protectant never smell good to me. Now that we look like Lord Farquaad, we're going to take my blow dryer and start blow drying my hair. Um, I'm going to speed these clips up so that, you know, it's not too much, but I'm about to section my hair into four sections and then start blow drying. So, yeah.
so I am finished blow drying for the most part. I'm going to go back in on my roots really quick, but I'm going to be back when I'm halfway finished with my hair because I want to be able to like show you guys the process. But in order to do that, I got to get out the back. So I'm going to do the back and then when I'm like towards the front, I will be back with doing my hair. I probably will put clips of me like doing the back in here, but I'm not going to explain it then. I'm going to explain it once I'm closer to the front. You'll see what I'm saying when it come up. You'll, you'll know exactly what I mean. Okay, so I'll be back and I'll see you guys soon. Yeah. now that half of the front is done i wanted to do that crisscross thing i saw it on pinterest i couldn't get it when i did my hair like without the twists so i was like okay let me do the twists in the front and then do it with the crisscross so that you could clearly see the crisscross because of the part so i'm taking just some regular rubber bands and crisscrossing the twists just like this and then I'll tighten it and then there's one and then you take this one the bottom one in the front in the second row of the back and you connect them with the rubber band as well and then that creates the crisscross right and y'all keep in mind I'm not a professional hairstylist <laughs> this is like my second time doing these on myself I don't even want to look at the back um we're not going to talk about the back the back is not important the back is the back. And then, as you can see, it's a crisscross. It's not perfect. Like I said, I'm not a hairstylist. But it looks good to me. It's fine for me. And I'm the one that has to wear it. So then I'm just going to go in and grab the second two rows, the next two rows. And we're going to crisscross these. Starting with these two. Then we'll take another rubber band. Y'all, I got miscombobulated. Hold on. Okay. And then we take the next two.
And I'm only doing this side right now just so that I can see what it looks like. Because once I twist the second side, if I don't like it, I'm not going to do the rubber bands, right? Like, you know what I mean? And there's that. And now let's do the last four. And that's that. I do think, I think I like it, guys. I think I like it. I think, yeah. Because it helps keep it on my face, you know. I don't have just hair flying down in my face. And then on top of that, it can cover the back. So, yeah, all right. So now that I know I like it, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And yeah, I'll see you guys when my hair is finished, when my edges are done. I probably will put a little makeup on so that I can see the look like marinated. But I really do, I really do like it. Now I've got to do this side. And y'all, my butt hurts, so I'm going to take a break. I'll be back. Okay, guys, my hair is finished. It looks so good. I have makeup on because I filmed a TikTok. Like I told you guys, I was going to come back once I let the hair marinate a little bit. It's still the same day. Technically not. This took me two days. Um, it's the second day. We on the second day. But this is my hair. I'm not going to turn around because I don't want to see what that looks like. But I'm very proud of myself. It is so cute. So in total, I would say it took me about 10 hours because I did five hours yesterday and then I did five hours today to finish it. The longest part was really the front because I had to make sure those parts were straight because this is what you're going to see. You know, if you're looking at the back of my head, you're too close to me. I tell everybody that, like, I really don't care. you too close. Back up, you know? But yeah, guys, this is the finished look. It is so cute. <laughs> I do my hair all by myself. <laughs> what they call that? Miss Independent? Yeah, that's me. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, let me know down below. Don't forget to leave a like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!